Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is good, YouTube man? It's your boy Hoodie Jordan and uh, Hoodie Jordan YT in the Wells Family Game. We back at it again with another video. Um, um, I'm recording this video Monday, July 31st at 5:52 p. Uh, a.m. Sorry, my bad. 5:52 a.m. Monday morning on July 31st. last day of July um, and so I decided to do this video and, and edit it and have it uploaded and scheduled to be released and be ready to be watched tomorrow for tomorrow's video I already got a video out today which is the Call of Duty video so I want to do an on cam video for tomorrow so usually the next day uh, videos will be planned already done and edited and recorded and uploaded the day before um the main reason for this video is i'm doing another story time so the most recent story time i did was me and my cousin boomerang skipping school early well ditching school early and going home or whatever and that's on the channel. So let's get that uh, video to a thousand views. And that was also a Mother's Day, uh, Mother's Day vlog too. So it was a Mother's Day vlog and story time. So that was the last time I did a story time it was on Mother's Day. And so I've been coming up with more ideas of what story times I should be telling. And so I thought, why not give a, a story time about my dating life in Memphis? In Memphis, why not? Let's give a story time about my dating life in the end in North Memphis. So, um, I think it mostly started. Let me see. I think I first started really dating because I was really young when I started dating. It wasn't like really real relationships. We was just dating like boyfriend and girlfriend, holding hands and all that, kissing the cheek and all that sitting next to each other at lunch. <laughs> so, um, um, my, the time I started dating was, I would say probably third grade. Actually, no, it was fourth grade when I started dating. Take that back. But she still was my, it was fourth grade. I, my teach, my fourth grade teacher was Miss, was uh, Miss Phelps. Miss Phelps. She was short. She was shorter than my mom. And that was the teacher in my last story time who uh, went to that conference meeting and we cut school early. <laughs> so anyway, I was in her class. She was the teacher that I didn't get along with, but I got along with because I had to make it through the school year to get the fuck out of her class and go to the uh, go to the fifth grade. So she ended up, um, I was in her class. It was like, I can't say how many boys and girls it was. It was like an even amount, even amount of boys, even amount of girls. My cousin, he was in the same, my cousin Boomay. <laughs> he was in the same class as me in fourth grade, which is time me and him ditched school early. Um, he was in that class with me. So in that class, it was me, it was me, it was me, my cousin Boomay. This girl named Alanisha Griffin, who stayed on the same street as me and my cousin Boomay. Then this other girl, Artisha Grant. She had a younger brother who went to the same school as me, her, and my cousin Boomay. So I was cool with her and her little brother and her mom. So that was good to go. I already met her mom. Her mom met my mom. And her mom always came to the school to drop uh, to drop her and her brother off. So during that time, 
we going through the school year. Um, start off the school year good. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? Um, doing our work, all of that. Boom, boom, boom. Fast forward time. Me and her started talking. Then we started sitting next to each other in class. Her desk was right next to my desk. So our desk was like, the desk in high school was like how it was in uh, elementary school, in my elementary uh, school in my, in my class. Her desk was sitting right next to my desk. In order for me to get out, I had to push my desk on the side and get out and move out and slide out. So she was sitting next to me and we was doing our work. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit. And the teacher didn't mind that we talked as long as we was getting our classwork done and our homework done. So while me and her doing our homework or our classwork or whatever, no, our classwork, we started talk we started talking, laughing, blushing, all of that stuff. <laughs> We started um, getting along, sitting by each other, start having this great friendship, building our friendship up, getting to know each other and all of that. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit. And then I'll say within a week later, out of nowhere, a week later, the following, the next week on Monday, when we went back to school after the weekend, she seen me and she gave me a hug. She started giving me a hug. So the only time I seen her, when I got I got to school to make it in time to eat to for breakfast and all of that. So I never seen her at breakfast or none of that. If she did go to breakfast early in the morning before class started, I didn't see her. She was probably on the other side of the cafeteria because we had a huge cafeteria. Um, but anyway, um, she might've been at the cafeteria eating breakfast with her brother and all that stuff. And I was on the other side eating breakfast with my cousin and my friends. So after breakfast was over with throwing our stuff away and all that stuff. And then we started walking to class. The moment we got to class, the teacher was already there. The door was already open and all that stuff. So we could just walk in. So before we walk in, she seen me, she was like, hey, Jordan. And so we, she gave me a hug and all that. She gave me a kiss on the cheek. I gave her a kiss on the cheek back. Now, in my head, I'm still the badass student. My teacher did not like me. <laughs> Cause every, at least twice a week, she had to call my mom, call home and tell my mom that, hey, Jordan's acting up. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know what he's doing. When he get home, can you talk to him and, uh, and all of that and get on him or whatever? She was like, all right, cool. But anyway, um, anyway, I gave her a kiss. We went in. Like I said, during that time, my, my, I wasn't processing this stuff, right? I was still thinking, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Last week on Friday, during our last week, we were sitting next to each other in class at our desk, talking, blushing, all that. <laughs> so I guess over the weekend, she started gaining more feelings for me and started liking me. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit. And so, um, after that, like I said, after she kissed me and I kissed her, we walked in the classroom holding hands. We sat in our desk and all of that. And my cousin, his desk was like, probably by the bookshelf, like probably three feet away from the teacher's desk where she, her, where she sat at. And so, um, I gotta hit the bone too. But so um, at the same time, we sitting there, we just talking, blushing, and all that stuff. So after we got done doing our work and all of that stuff, my teacher went out, went to go run an errand quick or went to go use the bathroom. And so,
<laughs> bro, that dude falling, falling, bro. And so, my teacher went to go use the bathroom, and... And so, me and her, we just laid our heads down. We were just blushing, looking at each other, just like, just like this. Just blushing and talking and all that. We was just, we was just like, uh, like little kids. Yeah, we was little kids, but we was just blushing and smiling, and all of that, just flirting with each other. And so, me, I'm the type type of person where I don't, I don't give a fuck. If I see a fine ass female, I'm gonna talk to her. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to her and like let her know who the fuck I am that I'm a real ass nigga and all of that. So me and her laying our heads down, blushing, talking, all that. We smiling and laughing. So I'm talking, making her laugh and all that. And so later on, a little time fast forward, about a, a couple of minutes later, the teacher was still using the bathroom on her way, uh, being done using the restroom on her way back to the classroom. All of a sudden, she slid her, her arm under the desk with her hand and start rubbing my leg. So me during that time, when she was rubbing my leg, I'm sitting here like, oh shit, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So she's sitting up there rubbing my leg and she got her hand on my leg, just sitting up there rubbing like my leg, top of my leg, my thigh area. Then on the side, like my inside thigh area, close by my shit. And so, um, and then, so I put my hand under the desk too, my left hand under the desk, along my arm. I start rubbing her leg. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? And we just sitting up there doing that and flirting and talking. And my cousin, then I looked over. No, I didn't look over. All I heard was, Jordan, Jordan, psst, Jordan, psst. And I'm looking, I'm like, where the fuck that's coming from? And then that's when the girl, her name was Artisha Grant. That's when Artisha told me, hey, Jordan, your cousin's calling you. So I'm like, fuck. So I looked over, I was like, I was like, what, nigga? And so, out of nowhere, he was like, bro, really? You for real right now? I'm like, hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. And so, during that time, my cousin, he liked a girl named Alanisha Griffin that stayed on my street. My my uh, cousin, he stayed on the same street, but it was on the other end of the street that was, uh, that was named Stanger Street. He stayed on the other end of the street, so Alanisha Griffin lived closer to me than him. And so, um, and so I looked at him. Now, us guys, we have that connection. We have that bro code where we would tell him, like, if we're far distance, like, like, bro, go. Like, like, talk to her if you like her or whatever, if you fuck with her. So I'm telling him, I'm like, bro, talk to her. Talk to Alanisha. He like, why? I was like, nigga, you like her, don't you? He was like, yeah. I was like, damn, talk to her. She close by you. She sit close by you. He was like, all right. So he started talking to her. And then while he talking to her, I put my attention back on Artisha. And she's like, what this about? I was like, this nigga was like, he was like asking me, am I, am, uh, am I for real? Like whatever me and you were doing and all that shit. And so... And so she was like, why are you doing it? I was like, because he liked, uh, he liked Alan, this, that girl, Alanisha Griffin, Alanisha, and he ain't talking to her. So he, he wasn't the type of person to get conversation started. So, so I was, so I had to help him out and all of that. And then she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, now nah, I can focus on me and you now. Like, what? Like, what did it do? Like, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? And so, me and her are talking and all that stuff. And so, it was getting close to lunchtime. So, our lunchtime, 
So high school lunch time nowadays is like around like 12 some, like around early 12. Like we got periods of lunch, like in high school, you got first lunch, second lunch, third lunch. First lunch is like around 10, 30 something after third lunch. Um, you know, it's like 10, 40 some, 10, 30 some going on 10, 40 for first lunch in high school and so on and so forth. And third lunch should be ending by like 12 o'clock noon or whatever. And so, um, well, 12 o'clock, 12.30. So, um, well, 12.15. But anyway, um, the lunch at my elementary school at Hollywood, it started at like 11.15. It was like at 11, started at 11.15. So, so when my teacher came back, she was like, all right, you guys, it's time for lunch. Y'all gonna line up at the door. So... The way it is, is when you're at the front of the line, you're like the line leader and whoever's behind you, you can't do none because all the attention is on the first four to five people at the front of the line. Like if you're at the front of the line, you're the first five people, everybody's paying attention to you guys and looking at you guys. Um, if you're like towards the middle and towards close towards the end, you're good to go. So me and me and Artisha Grant was like, me and Artisha was like towards the end of the line. And my cousin Alanisha was like right behind us. So Alanisha, uh, Artisha was in front of me. So Artisha was in front of me. I was right behind her. Then Alanisha was behind me. Then my cousin Bumai was behind her. So it was like Artisha, me, Alanisha, my cousin Bumai. Um, fifth grade year, I started dating this girl named Tiara Dunlap. She is the younger sister of a guy who was best friends with my older brother. And so, um, my older brother always hung out with him, always hung out with her brother, her older brother, and all of that stuff because they was around the same age and attended the same school. And so he would always talk on the phone with her brother and all of that. And so I also had her number two to call to their house and to talk to her. And so during that stage, when you call their house to talk to her, like either her mom, her dad, or her sister, or her brother who was friends with my brother would answer the phone. And I would have to say, hey, is Tiara Dunlap there? Is Tiara there? Can I, and if so, can I, could I, uh, can I speak to her? And so they would be like, oh yeah, sure. She was like, they, this is Jordan, right? I was like, yeah, it's Jordan. And so uh, they were like, all right, hold on, here she go. And so uh, <clears throat> I guess during that time, my brother was um, hanging out with her brother somewhere, or whatever, still at school, or whatever. And me and her was talking on the phone for like a good like hour and a half, two hours. And so she ended up giving me her number because we started off as friends and all of that stuff. But she was in my cousin Ladario's class, who his teacher was Miss Cheney, because I guess it was a diff new year and she started teaching fifth grade. And so <clears throat> she was in his class. And then there was another light skinned nigga named DeVorier, who was in my cousin uh, Ladario class with Tiara Dunlap. And so during that time, me and Tiara Dunlap was friends. And I guess um, during that time, her and this delight skin nigga DeVorier started dating and all of that. And so they was dating for like a good month, two months and all of that shit. And I guess they broke up and all of that. And then, um, cause I guess because he got into a fight with some dude that was in my class or whatever. And so, um, <clears throat> shit <laughs> and so um after they broke up time went by me and her me and her was still talking regardless of when they was in a relationship and so me and her started talking then later on in the uh down the, down later on in the week me and her started dating and so she was the type of girl where she was like about this tall but she was about this tall right here she she was like a good little my skin tone probably a little bit lighter and 
she had the most beautiful smile ever. Oh my gosh. Like she was so fine. Um, man, her started dating. Me and her was dating for like six months. Probably all the way uh throughout summer vacation, then right before school started back for the next next school year. That's when um that's when me and her broke up. And so during that time I ended up moving to a different house. And so I still stayed on the same street, the same street my grandmother stayed on, but we moved to a different house. And so um and so uh after me and her broke up and the new school year started, I guess she started, her and that nigga, a uh, light skinned nigga DeVorea started talking. So I was like, fuck that. So during that year, I was struggling. I, I was barely passing my class, that one class. We only had one class, which was the easiest thing ever. So all you have to do is just continue passing that one class for the school year and you're good to go. So I was struggling with that class and I had a D. I was at like a like the, just not a D minus, not a D plus, I was at a D. And so I guess I was struggling at that point to they suggested that I go to summer school. And so during the summertime. So when I went to summer school, I went to the school called Valentine. Now it was, uh, we had to stop by a school called Valentine to pick up some other students that rode on the bus with us to go to another school that we had our summer school at. And so, where we had our summer school at, it was, I was in this classroom with this teacher. It was two teachers. And the the teacher, the, uh, the teacher that was the main teacher of that class, her classroom was full. It was overfilled. So they had to split the class up and take half the students that was in there to a different class with the teacher assistant that was helping her out with the class. And she had her own classroom and her own class, and I was in her class. The girl that I was dating during summer school was also in her class with me, too. Her name was Dorica. That girl, she was like, for sure, she was my skin tone, probably about right here at my nose, same about the same height as my nose. She was like a, a nice little slim, thick body, nice, nice ass, all of that. She was real cute. During the time we was in the class before we got split up, we didn't talk at all. We didn't talk. We was looking each other's way like, like she's cute and, uh, and then she's cute, he's cute stage. Like I, I think I find him or her attractive type of stage. And so when we got into, when we uh, split up, we got to the other classroom, that's when we, we had to partner up for like a, a class assignment and all of that stuff. And so me, I wasn't paying attention. So my teacher was like, Jordan. I was like, huh? It was like that, Jordan, huh, huh, what, what? what I do? None. <laughs> and so she was like, Jordan, find you a uh, team up with somebody with a classmate of yours. And we go and work on this class science. So I was like, cool. So the only person that didn't have a, a partner was her, was Dorica. And so we ended up sitting together at her desk and all of that stuff. So we started talking and all that stuff and stuff. I was like, so you're the girl that uh, that's, uh, I'm always looking at towards her way. And I was always looking at my way. She was like, yeah. I was like, I ain't finna lie. You really, you super, you really cute. I was like, um, during that time, I didn't know her name. So I was like, what's your name? She was like, my name is Dorica. What's your name? I was like, my name is Jordan. She was like, okay. She was like, you're pretty cute. I was like, you're pretty cute yourself. So we started talking, hanging out more. And so I started hanging out at her table, at her desk, where her, well, at her table where her desk was at. It was a circle table. So that was her desk. So I ended up moving and started sitting at her desk when we started talking after that little team up thing. And I was like, damn. And so later on in the week, she started, uh, I guess she was sick or whatever, wasn't feeling good. So she missed like 
two days of school, maybe three. So I was like, damn, I wish you were here. So during that time, I ended up sitting back at my desk. No, I was still sitting at her desk. And so I guess it was on that Friday, which was the last day she, uh, she was absent from summer school. That Monday when she came back, I started sitting at her, uh, her desk and she was happy, when she saw me, she was happy to see me. I was happy to see her. We gave each other hugs. We started uh, talking and blushing and all that stuff and hugging. And then when we got to the classroom, I mean, not to the classroom, when it was lunchtime, which was the end of the summer school day, we would go to lunch, eat, a little, eat one of those little lunchable things or whatever. And we would sit next to each other, holding hands and all that stuff, talking and eating our lunch. And then, so we had teachers that was there that was working there along with the assistant, with the uh, principal that would say, that would announce the buses to the schools that we were, uh, that we got picked up from. So they yelled out my bus stop and all that stuff. And so the principal was like, Hollywood, Valentine, your bus is ready. So I was like, damn, I was like, all right, I gotta go. I'll see, I'll see you uh, the next day or whatever tomorrow. And all that. So I ended up hugging her, giving her a hug, kissing her on the cheek and all of that. Threw my lunch away, got my backpack, got on the bus went, and uh, headed home. Well, headed back to my original school. And, <laughs> and then time went by then, so summer school ended. I was so mad. I was like, bro, what the fuck? So that last, I was like, I'm not finna do shit. I was like, fuck that. So we just had fun. So during the time we was at lunch, I was like, fuck that. I was like, I got to get this girl hood. Let her know that I'm going to miss her. That I care about her and I'm going to think about her and all of that stuff. And so I gave her a hood. We, we was hugging for like a good maybe five minutes. So I gave her a hug and all of that stuff. And I was like, I'm going to miss you so much. Um, you have a great summer, all of that stuff. Um, I was meant to, uh, ask her for her number and all that. So I could call her from my house, call her house number, her house phone and all that. So, so we could still talk and all that, still be dating or whatever. So she didn't attend my, she didn't attend my elementary school, Hollywood Elementary. So I was like, fuck. And so that's when I was like, fuck it. So after that, we got done hugging, gave her a kiss. We This time, instead of kissing each other on the cheek, we kissed each other on the lips like a little, like how niggas do now. And so, um, and so I was like, man. Then fast forward up to now, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, damn. I still think about that girl. I was like, damn, low key, I want to know how she... Because now, I don't know if she have a, a social media. I don't know if she have any of that. I don't even remember how she looked now. Because I, like, time, as time, during that time that I was growing up, I was like, I was like, what the fuck? During that time I was growing up, from after that summer school ended, and as I was growing up and getting older and taller and bigger, I stopped thinking about her and I stopped focusing on her. Then I started focusing on what was around me in my area and my peripheral vision, like in my area, wherever I'm at. And then later on down the road as I got older, then that's when I ended up meeting the mother of my child. I can't remember. But yeah, I ended up meeting the mother of my child. Me and her dated for a little bit and all of that. And then um, after that, after me and her dated for a little bit, we dated for about a good year and a half. And after that, we ended up having a kid together and all of that. Then we broke up and then uh, time moved by. I ended up meeting, uh, started dating somebody else and getting into a relationship with her. Then ended up getting married and all of that stuff. So, um, and then so me and her started building a relationship and started doing everything, hanging out, working, and all of that stuff. And so, yeah, that's about my dating life from elementary school on up until now. And so, yeah, if y'all want more, uh, if y'all want more story times, 
gonna do me a favor, stop and smash on that like button, two piece that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to be notified when the gang upload up on the channel each and every day. Well, it's family, live, love, laugh, live, lose, learn. You got to lose in order to win. Always remember that. Hoodie Jordan and the Wells family. We out. Yeah.